How are you? This is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network and BregmanSuccess.com. It is in the United States, as I'm filming this, one day before the presidential election and overall the election day in the United States. A lot of you have been messaging me, those who know me personally, have been messaging me by text. Some people have been writing me on Facebook, and it's getting to be more and more now. People have been asking me, hey, Rabbi Bregman, what do you think is going to happen in the election? Is it going to be Trump? Is it going to be Hillary? Who are you going for? What do you think it all means? You know, I've been getting a lot of it, even a little bit by phone. So here's a quick video, what my thoughts are. I'll put it out. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, uh, and, um, but I think it's wise stuff, okay? Here's what I would tell you. Look, there is no doubt that the presidential election in the United States is a very big deal. I'm not just saying this as an American. I'm saying this as someone who's an attorney. I'm saying this as somebody who worked on Capitol Hill. I used to work in Washington in the House of Representatives and in the Senate. I got my degree in political science. I'm into this stuff, I know about this stuff. But here's something else I will tell you, as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, uh, and as a person who is a success strategist who helps grow people and their revenue and their businesses day and night, okay? And here's what I want you to know. My friends, no matter if Trump wins, or Hillary wins, or even if they would both win, your life is not really going to change that much on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, I understand that in the macro, in the big picture, the election is undoubtedly very important. It affects your taxes, the economy, it could affect uh, the United States' military relationship with different nations, potential war, how we deal with terrorism, global warming, borders, the state of Israel, and a trillion other things. By no means do I mean to be leaving anything out by including those items, okay? That is true. But on a day-to-day -day basis, your life is not going to change that much whether Trump wins or Hillary wins. A lot of people have been telling me, they've been messaging me on Facebook saying, hey, glad you're still teaching Torah, glad you have some positive posts. I can't handle all this election stuff anymore. And you know what? I hear you. I completely understand what you're saying. Because, I mean, how much of that could a person handle, you know? How much of it? Because at the end of the day, if you're broke, if your life stinks, if your life is going nowhere, if you're not fulfilling your potential, there is no politician in the world who can come and fix that for you. You think Trump or Hillary is going to get you out of debt? You think if you don't know how to sell, you don't know how to market yourself, and then to go into the marketplace and create value and help people and go into exchange with people that they'll give you money for your solving and resolving their problems. If you can't do that now, no president's going to fix that for you. Honestly, if they would both win, neither of them would get you out of that problem. All right? So just as the election of President Bush or Obama or Clinton didn't radically take people who are not succeeding in life and catapult you to success, it isn't going to happen no matter who wins a presidential election in the United States tomorrow. So for those of you who are very into it, um, I think that's awesome. <laughs> uh, for those of you who have the opportunity to vote, people watch these videos in um, 30 to 40 different countries a week. I see from YouTube and Facebook, people are, you know, I see from the back end data, people are watching this all over the world. Yeah, you might not be able to vote, but if you can vote, I do think you should. I actually encourage you to. But at the end of the day, the election is not going to change your life. You have to double down on you, grow, learn, stretch, and become a more valuable, productive member of society if you want to get somewhere. The election is not going to change that for you. And the truth is, and I'll be very honest about it, we read in the news in the United States about people going to rallies and beating up Trump supporters and people beating up Hillary supporters. I mean, honestly, the people who are doing that, if that's really what's going on, first of all, we would say in Jewish talk, they're mashuganas, they're crazy, number one. Number two, if you're so into the election that you think that the outcome of it is going to change your life so much, that's worth pummeling another human being, you lost your mind. No person who is really winning and succeeding in life in a high level, who knows what to do to get to where they want to go, is physically harming another human being in advocacy of one candidate or another, okay? I'm all for bumper stickers, you want to put a sign in your yard, but people who are going around yanking yard signs out of other people's yards and cursing at people and yanking yard signs, I mean, if you have time to do that, you're basically telling me, telegraphing loud and clear, that you've pretty much given up on your ability 
and create any level or modicum of success for yourself and you're basically going all in hoping that this president or that president is going to change the trajectory of your life okay because there's no other reason why would you become so crazy you know it's to, to, to yank yard signs out of people's home why don't you take that same time and effort and put it into getting some success for yourself okay work hustle create value network get out there upgrade your skill set and then you don't need to you know beat people up and go crazy and curse at people and everything else <laughs> and in the hopes that one candidate will win if you're that into one candidate that you're insulting people on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and you're like one of those crazy people scrolling and angry and all of this and that's where you're at you're basically like the person who doesn't know how to Nebuch, like unfortunately, like to go out and earn anything for themselves and go create some success. So they spend half of their income on lottery tickets. The lottery ticket approach, <clears throat> people do it. Why do people go buy so many lottery tickets? When people take that much money and they go in on lottery tickets, they're pretty much saying, you know what? I've given up all natural hope of creating any success in my life. And you know what I'm left with? Lottery tickets, man. That's what I'm left with, okay? If that's where you're at, you're akin to the person <clears throat> who thinks that by be investing a zillion hours of time, effort, and energy and emotional energy into these candidates, it's going to change your life. It's kind of like the lottery ticket approach, IMO, in my opinion, okay? So the ultimate solution is to grow yourself, grow your mind, grow your mindset, grow your strategy, grow your bravery, your courage, take more titanic action, and become a more valuable person in the marketplace. That has been for me the number one distinction that helped me grow professionally, financially, and in every aspect of my life. I looked at myself when life has not been going well, you know, before I had this beautiful backyard and everything else, and I said to myself, Bregman, you are not yet good enough as currently constituted to accomplish what you want. Bring it, grow, stretch, become more. You need to become more and your life will improve. That's a conversation I've had with myself many, many times in life when I barely had even money for food and I had family to be responsible for. I didn't expect the government to fix it. I looked in the mirror and I said, I gotta grow. And then I said, okay, after I've done all I could, I said, Hashem, God, please help me. Please kiss my efforts and crown them with some success, okay? That's the ultimate formula. If you think a raise in the minimum wage is gonna fix you, if that's your panacea, I'm sorry, message me. I'll try to help you out in a different way because that's not going to fix it for you. Many companies have begun to have robots. For example, in fast food restaurants, have been testing it, robots to serve instead of food because they said, listen, we're, we're going to pay you 8 bucks an hour. You want 15 bucks an hour, we're going to get a robot to do it, and now we don't need to deal with minimum wage. You have to grow and become more valuable, okay? So um, if I can help you do that in any which way, you don't even need to retain me to be your coach or mentor or bring my company, Bregman Success Involved. I'll help you any which way I can. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube that are free that will help you in your personal development, success, money, growth, strategy, and get the mindset of a winner. Because I promise you, if you become the right person on the inside internally and run your mind correctly and you take your mind is good and you take titanic action, guess what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna win no matter who's president. And people who are losing and didn't yet do that work internally and externally in terms of their outer game, their actions, they're going to lose no matter who's president. Winners are going to keep winning. Those who are losing that didn't yet do that internal work, didn't have that opportunity yet to grow, they're going to keep losing. Anyway, that's my nine-minute rant on this election. God bless the United States of America. Amazing country. Amazing country. God bless you all. It's Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network and BregmanSuccess.com. I'm all in for America. No matter who wins, I know that. Come the next day, I'm going to be banging away 18 hours of work and doing what I can to take care of my family, my community, and everything else. I hope you'll join me in the journey. Let's roll. Be well. Have a great day. God bless America. Bye.